Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today I'm covering how to connect to Postgres database using Python. This is one of the common questions that comes up in the ETL series. So I decided to cover it in a separate video and direct viewers to it if they're facing the connectivity issue. There are few prerequisites for this. We need the Postgres database installed and configured. I have covered this in this video here. The link will be in the description below. Also, we'll use Jupyter Notebook to connect to the database. The Jupyter Notebook installation is covered in this video here. If your setup is complete, then let's launch a Jupyter Notebook. In order to connect to Postgres database, we use the SQL Alchemy and Psycho PG2 libraries. We can install them using the pip command. This will install the library on our machine. Now we can import them in our notebook. Along with these, Let's also import pandas library so we can read the data and save it in a table-like structure. We define variables holding the database credentials and details. Just an FYI, we can create the user and the password in the Postgres with the following script. It is available on GitHub. Link is in the description. We use the credentials in the SQL Alchemy to establish a database connection. We imported SQL Alchemy as create engine. In the create engine function, we built a Postgres connection string with F string. We provide the dialect, which is Postgres, colon, forward slash, forward slash, username, colon, password, at server name, and this is followed by colon and port. The default port for Postgres is 5432, and then forward slash, database name. If you want to specifically use Psycho PG2 database API, commonly known as DB API, we can specify it after the dialect. Let's go ahead and execute the cell to establish the connection. We need a SQL query to test our connection to above Postgres database. Let's issue a simple select statement in PG admin to retrieve some data from our database. If you have restored the sample DVD rental database, then let's use the actors table from it. We will select all columns from this table and our data is displayed underneath. Let's save the SQL query in our variable in our notebook. We'll call the variable SQL. Now we can use the pandas read SQL query function to query the database. We have all the required components for this function. We provide it with the SQL variable this contains our SQL query. And this is followed by the database connection that we have saved in the variable above. We execute the notebook cell with shift plus enter keys on the keyboard. If this cell execute without any error, then congratulations, your setup is complete and you can carry on with building ETL pipelines. And if you want to perform some data analysis using pandas, then feel free to check out my video on exploratory data analysis with pandas. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.